The year is 2018. Kamarocho is playing host to Kansai-based Yakuza, who've been turning up dead with their eyes gouged out. Lawyer-turned-detective Takayuki Yagami took on the case, proving the suspect's alibi. But he can't shake the feeling that the true culprit is out there. He gives this anonymous killer a name. Yagami calls him the Mole. Three bodies have turned up in Kamrocho, each of them missing both eyes. Everyone a Kyori man. Kumi is the most recent. And the guy who killed them all was your mole, huh? Yep. Got Kumi hand delivered to him by Hamura. But Hamura kept that hidden and ended up getting off scot free. In turn, making us look like fools. I'm not about to let him get away with this. Agreed. We gotta go all out if we want to win. Too bad the pay sucks. Don't hate, man. I don't get it. Why would the captain want to protect the mole anyways? He could have gotten life in the slammer if things went south. Hard to say with what we know now. First things first, we need to figure out who the mole is. That's why we're here, remember? The mole's first victim was found right in this very alley. Mm-hmm. Happened back in August. Kenkichi Mashiba. A Kyore guy, 27. Pretty small time. Even lower rank than Kume. Body got reported in the morning. Eyes gouged clean out of his skull. Where exactly did they find him? What sort of position was he in? Not sure. Cops don't really publish those kinds of details. Well, guess we'll have to do one better then. Hold up a sec. The cops already did their whole song and dance searching for the mole. But they couldn't turn up a damn thing. Why do you think we can do any better? Don't worry, we got this. Oh, it's that easy, huh? If anyone's gonna know about the mole, it's Hamura. And who has better access to him than anyone else? We do. Right? Guess you got a point. We'll need to get our hands on some more info first, though. The quickest way to find the truth is through good old-fashioned legwork. <laughs> I can do old-fashioned. Anyways, the next victim was in, uh... October. Found in an alley off Tenkaichi Street. Shall we head over? I'm actually gonna head over alone if you don't mind. Think you can get in touch with that informant in the meantime? Huh? Why I obey? Didn't you say something about him selling police info? If he's got info on the mole, we need it. Yep, I can ask. Thanks. Suspicious. Suspicious. Hmm. What the?
Hey, what's up? What? Get back here! Hold it! Stop! Wait, wrong guy! Okay, let's go. Getting any thanks for that. Here, you earned this back. Yeah, I own it. Look, it wasn't a perfect plan, but it worked out in the end, didn't it? So thanks. Is that what you call that? And I don't want your thanks, asshole. <laughs> okay. See ya. Cat dragged in. Afternoon. Did I keep you waiting or something? No. We were just talking about you, actually. Do you have a minute, Yagami-san? Of course. Especially if you've got a job for me. <laughs> You're always so eager to work. A great fighter, too. You ever take lessons? I did back when I was a kid, yeah. The rest has been more of a learn-by-doing thing. I like to think of it as Kamurocho style. Because you trained yourself on the streets? Man, what a life. I bet you've got some crazy stories. Um, Yagami-san. What's up? Actually, I do have some work for you. Yeah? What kind? Here, take a look at what I've got.
I'll send the details to your office. Put them up on your board or something. Sounds good. Thanks, Sari-san. Yagami, you still sniffing around that Kume case? Yeah, that's not a problem, is it? Not a problem, per se. But the case is closed. I can't keep paying you to investigate. Fine by me. It's a personal matter now. Even so, you're convinced Tamara's covering for the killer, right? You know he'll be none too happy if he finds out you're still on the case. He brought this on himself, if you ask me. Speaking of, have you seen him since the trial? No, but he and Shintani keep in touch. They're practically drinking buddies these days. Really? Come on in, Hattori-san. Small, but it's home. Oh, I know all about this place. Right, Yagami-san? Oh, sorry. I forgot. Shintani had an interview today. Just pretend Yagami isn't here, yeah? Wouldn't want your readers thinking he had a hand in getting Hamura's acquittal. Oh, don't worry about that, Shintani-sensei. That courtroom was yours, and yours alone. I should go. Looks like I'm the third wheel here. Without a photo, Yagami-san? For as much as you did on the case? Let me just get one of you in Shintani-sensei, huh? Tea, sir? What a treat. That would be great, Shirosaki-sensei. You look kind of rattled, man. Don't try to get away, bitch! Crap! They are here! Sorry, got to run! Not if we can help it. Who the hell are you? Finally caught him, huh? Good work. Kasai-san! Just drop it already, you guys! I will never give her to you! Come on, man! It's damn disgraceful making a babe like her work at a Yakiniku joint! That has nothing to do with you! Listen, Kim-san. You might not know this, being a foreigner and all, but we got a saying here. A hot girl is a terrible thing to waste. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's not exactly how it goes. Yeah? <laughs> All this over a girl, huh? Doesn't reflect too well on you. Though in this case, it looks like that reflection's actually kinda accurate. Mind your fucking business! Who do you think you are? A friend of Kim's. Someone who's not gonna just stand by and let you beat him to a pulp. Yeah, give me some! All right, buddy. I don't wanna do this. But you were asking for it. Picking a fight with the Kenta Kasai of the Kahin Gang. Let's see how smart you really are, Mr. Know-It-All. He's tougher than he looks. Know it all, son of a bitch. Now get lost. And I better not catch you near Kim-san again. I'm not going down that quiet. You're gonna regret making an enemy out of the Kahin. And don't come back! That's what you say when you win, dumbass. Nobody asked you! 
You okay, Kim-san? <laughs> Thanks for the help, Yagami-san. We should probably get out of here before they come back. Yeah, good call. I'm so sorry about this, Yakami-san. Yeah, I, I never meant to drag you into my mess. That guy mentioned the Kahin gang. What's their deal? Oh, it's a group of thugs that have been running wild recently. They have the whole town in a tizzy. <laughs> Not even the Yakuza know how to deal with them. Huh. Must really be something, then. Oh, you got that right. They're a thorn in the city side. One of the leaders, that Pankasai, won't stop coming for one of my employees. Oh, I don't want to think about what he wants with her. Ooh. So you were just looking out for your worker? But of course! I am her boss! But Yakami-san, you really should not have gotten involved. Now, do you wear out for your head, too? Don't worry. I'll be just fine. Well, okay. Well, now... I will be here if you need anything. Excuse me. Domo. Thanks so much, Yagami-san. Will you? Actually... Hmm... Yagami-san! Yep. <laughs> hmm... Huh? <laughs> Please. Huh? <laughs> Please. There's a pattern, I guess. Uh. Yep.
エロスの香りが私に力を与えてくれる You don't give up, do you? Now you've done it! します。Yo, welcome. Yo, pull up a chair, Tuck. Ayabe said he'd meet us here, but don't know what his deal is. This is pretty out of the way. Maybe he's just trying to play it safe since we're new clients. Yeah, maybe you're right. Ayabe's sure taking his time getting here. Should we ask that guy? I wouldn't. Who knows if he's one of Ayabe's boys? True, but... Look, Ayabe's a dirty cop. The last thing he wants is his cover blown. 
We won't get a peep from him if that happens. Got it? Sure, sure. Hmm? Hey, someone's coming. Welcome. Pick a rod, I guess. Yo, gotten any bites today? Not even a nibble. And you're scaring them off. Get lost. Come on. Don't be like that. You're here for Aya, babe, right? <laughs> Who's that? Don't play dumb with me. It's not gonna end well for you. You got it all wrong. Just fishing. Right. We ain't your boys. We look like the type to hang out with cops. Huh. Who said anything about him being a cop? Oh, well, I... Oh, fuck. So you do know him. I fucking called it! These assholes baited me! That one was all you. So what do you want with Ayabe? Tell me, or else. Yeah, I'm real scared. Look, we don't want trouble. Just step off and we won't hurt you. You got balls, don't you? I'm gonna serve them to you! Done? Or do you want some more? It doesn't sound like they do. <laughs> All right. You boys are in. You what? Ibe-san's careful dealing with new people. He's selling police info after all. Gotta make sure his partners can keep a secret. And these guys? Working for Ayabe, son. <laughs> Ayabe knows me, though. Doesn't he? You're Kaito san, yeah? The <laughs> boss told me about you. You're dumber than I thought. Dumb! L look here, asshole! Right, not now, Kaito. As for you, where's Ayabe? Behind the counter. Come take a look. What the? You're looking at the entrance to Lamont, the best kept casino in all of Kamurocho. Lamont? French for lover. You know what they say there's an amazing lover behind every coy bride. <laughs> well, aren't you guys international? Go down and have fun. Ayabe-san will be here soon. Here, these are on the house. So the stupid pawn was just a front? Wow. <laughs> Fine by me. Well, want to see what they've got to offer? May as well put those chips to use.
Playtime's over, Tuck. Come on. Good to see you, Kaito-san. I take it you're Yagami-san. Or would Yagami-sensei be more appropriate? <laughs> Whatever works for you. Sorry about that whole test thing. Name's Ayabe. Kamurocho Organized Crime Division. Pleasure. So, how you like in the casino? Pretty swanky, huh? Why? You the owner or something? Not quite. I do my part to keep it hidden, though. Cut a deal with the Tojo, too. Barely pay a lick of protection money now. I guess I do practically run the place. And you never invited me? I'm hurt. Sorry, I can't give you the VIP treatment when all you buy is the dirt off my shoes. All right, let's cut to the chase, shall we? You know those Cure murder cases? They're all managed by my boss. Guy named Kuroiwa. He's the one who brought your captain in. But, thanks to you, Hamura walked, and now Kuroiwa's got egg on his face. <laughs> Felt good, let me tell you. I'm a fan of your work. So here, the first one's on the house. Guess we got Kuroiwa to thank for this. Now, I pulled together reports on all the cases so far. Three in total, including the trial the other day. Not so fast. You're on the hook if this shit gets out. Oh, pretty scary. And what happens if it does? You're dead. <sighs> Figured as much. <laughs> Protect that with your life, huh? Will do. Can you tell me more about this Kuroiwa guy? He's the darling of the Camaro police station. Strong, popular, and always gets his mark. They've got him fast-tracked for promotion. And you don't like him, why? Guy's too damn perfect! Think it's any fun working with a perfectionist? Not to mention, he's a handsome devil. Envy's what makes a man ugly, friend. Especially, uh, coming from a dirty cop. I don't know. I think it's kind of refreshing. <laughs> Glad you see it my way, Yagami-san. Here, look at this asshole. Yeah, handsome. <laughs> right. He knows who you are, by the way. After all, you're the guy who got Hamura acquitted. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, don't open that here, okay? I'll keep it shut tight till I'm back in my office. That work? I'm usually hanging around tender. Swing by there if you need anything else. Got it. Glad that's over with. I'm gonna play a few hands while I'm here. You staying, or...? I'll think about it. Righto. See you around. Ugh! <laughs> 
What was that about? Were they going after this? Glad one of us is earning his pay. How are those docks from Ayave looking? Not bad. How things go at the casino? I want a mill or so. A mill? I'd have kept going, but that seemed like a good round number. Oh, good. Guess I don't need to pay you this month. Hey, I ain't a charity. Anyway, anything good in there? Not yet. Cops only got as far as arresting Hamra. Well, according to this, that was the only lead they had. They're as stumped as we are. Hmm. Huh. No wonder Ayabe was practically giving that shit away. There is something in here about the second murder, though. Apparently, they had been tracking the victim, Kunimura, right up until his death. I take it that's Kunimura? Yeah. Two hours before his death, he was seen leaving a brothel called Konban Wife. Kind of place where the girls pretend they're married. Sounds like he was there for a kanai-chan. <laughs> At least the guy had some fun before he went out. Hell, that's how I want to go. I'm gonna go talk to this kanai-chan. See if she knows anything about Kunimura. With any luck, I might even get a lead on the mole. Come on, man. Leave the sexy shit to me. You're too young to handle a married woman anyway. <laughs> you do realize I'm just gonna talk to her, right? You're seriously not letting me take point on this one? What if I tell Mafu you, Chan? Go ahead. No skin off my back. Welcome, sir. Any requests tonight? Huh? Oh. Yuna-chan, Marin-chan, and Kanai-chan are all free tonight. Here's their pictures. It's a thousand extra to make specific requests. So I don't have to pick any of them. I see. Is this your first time here, sir? Why don't we start by picking a duration? Duration? And any options you'd like. Uh, options? Right. Uh, let's start at the top, huh? For durations, we have 35 minutes for 9,000 yen, 50 minutes for 13,000 yen, or 65 minutes for 17,000 yen. Let's do 65 minutes. Oh, that's quite an honor, sir. Your sincere enthusiasm warms my heart. Honest. You know what? You can have any girl you want, no request charge. Wow, really? And here, this is a little bonus. The service here isn't half bad. Did you have a specific girl in mind? At the moment, we have Yuna-chan, Marin-chan, and Kanai-chan. 
I'll go with Kanai-chan. A fine choice, sir. Something wrong, sir? You wanted Kanai-chan, yes? Yep. Kanai-chan it is. Great. Next, you can pick any options you'd like to add. There's quite a few. You can discuss those directly with the girl. What kind of options are we talking? Oh, all kinds. Although not every girl is open to everything, you know. All you need to know about Kanai-chan is she doesn't do blindfolds. Bl blindfolds? Yes, sir. She had a bad experience with them when she was younger. Sorry to hear that. Guess there have been all those murders lately, too. Yes, well, you came here to forget all of that, yes? Anyway, let me show you to your room. Right this way, sir. <clears throat> Come in. Expensive tastes. Sort of out of your price range, huh? Why are you even here? What's going on? Maybe I should be asking you the same question, yeah? <laughs> Not that I need to. Why are you still looking into the Curie murders, Tuck? Keep your eyes to yourself, lest you want to lose them. Are we clear? You don't get to decide what I do. Don't go digging up dirt. Shintani went through a lot of work making those charges go away. <laughs> you want to keep playing detective? You ought to work out more. Well, I... got jumped earlier by four assholes wearing ski masks. Yeah? And why should I care? Well, I think... maybe you had something to do with it. I'm pretty sure that's the four of them right there. <laughs> I think you must have my boys confused. Right, Kengo? Yeah. No one likes a fucking liar! Oh! <laughs> Kanai-chan quit, packed her bags, and went back home. So stop looking for her. Why? I'm gonna let you off with a yellow card this time. <laughs> but only because the boss likes you so much. Yagami. You got a sec? Sure. You okay? You don't sound too good. I could use a hand with uh, the family captain. I'd really appreciate it if you could get him off my case. I see. Well, uh, I'm just killing time at the office right now. Why don't you come on by? We'll talk. Sounds good. Take a seat. <sighs> Forgive me if this is rude, but I'll cut right to the chase, my boy. Hmm? I don't know what's going on between you and Hamura, but there's nothing I can do to help. What do you mean? You're not even gonna hear my side of the story? You'd just be wasting your time. Hamura's been bankrolling the family for a while now. I get by on the scraps he leaves me. 
I'm... I'm just a figurehead. But... The clan will do the things I ask of them, yes. But if they had to choose between my orders and Hamara's, who knows? Maybe they would choose not to hear me. How long has it been like this? Years. The prime of my career was... Well, it ended back when I was raising you. Matsugane-san. If only Kaito was still in the family, maybe things wouldn't have turned out like this. We're not done here. Actually, we are. I have a message from Captain Hamura, Yagami-san. He says to go see him right away. He's waiting for you at Cafe Alps. He wants to talk. Fine. I'll head over when I feel like it. Don't piss him off, Yagami-san. Unless you want to lose your eyes, too. Welcome, sir. Please, take a seat wherever you'd like. I didn't think you'd try to pull that. Running off and telling an adult. Like a fucking child. Oh, I just thought that... the guy who actually runs the show would want to be able to keep tabs on his captain. He doesn't need to. So you keep your goddamn nose out of this shit. Understand? Or do I need to spell it out? Yeah. I'm hearing you loud and clear. So... I guess we're done here. We're not done until I say so. don't really work on you, do they, Talk? Well, I guess you always have been a fighter. None of us thought you'd last a day in law school. But you sure showed us. Went to night classes, passed the bar. You say you're done, but a guy with balls like you doesn't give up. You fought for your lawyer's badge, but trash with a badge is still trash. And it's about time to take you out. Ozaki! Just kidding. <laughs> 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 
Hey, man, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Your ass ready to die? Huh? Oh, enough of this. You're dead! <sighs> this is some bullshit. You already went. Huh? It's only fair I take my turn. about the eyes? One bullet in each. Man the fuck up, Kengo! Who the hell? No way. We gotta go. This way! Get them both! Let's go! <laughs> Watch it out! Yeah. You don't give up, do you? Let me borrow this real quick. Oh. Ooh. Are you back? Yes, sir. Ugh. <sighs> 
up, do you? Give up, do you? They finally give up? <sighs> Not yet. with it. Just who are you? I'd appreciate it. Thank you first. Why should I? After what you did to me this afternoon? I gave your phone back, didn't I? Then why even take it? What was the point of it? I was trying to get away from a cop. Asshole just wouldn't get off my case. But when I saw you on the phone, I had the greatest idea. Okay, go on. Well, I guess the first step was taking your phone. I knew you'd end up following me after that. Then, seeing you and me running in the same direction, the cop would think you were my buddy. And while he took his sweet time arresting you, I was gonna escape. I have to say, never thought you'd actually get away from him too, though. Eh. Guess all's well that ends well, yeah? And just now? Why'd you come save me? Good question. Why did I do it? Eh, beats me. <laughs> Interesting stuff. <laughs> Let's just say I wanted to apologize for stealing your phone. Lucky break, huh? You'd have got your brains blown out if it wasn't for me. You're telling me? Guess I owe you. In which case, we're even now. Hey. Why are you so dead set on this burglary ring? There's gotta be something better. <laughs> what? If you're looking for work, maybe you could join us instead. <sighs> and have the Yakuza out for my head? <sighs> Fat chance. Those guys from before were Matsugane family. But, uh, the Kyori's also looking for me. <laughs> you sure know how to sell it. <laughs> but, I don't think we can trust each other just yet, Yagami-san. What'd you say? How do you know my name? 